hello everyone welcome back to amstein tv in today's video we are going to be looking at why some people some group of people have quitted their job abroad in countries like americas and europe to move to ghana the topic goes thus she quit her job as a new york city lawyer to move to ghana that is what we are going to be looking in this video we are going to hear her testimony why she left new york city as a lawyer to move to ghana we also have some few cases in europe different countries in europe that are going to be discussed in this video we are going to see why they decided to relocate from europe americas to ghana thanks to my returning subscribers you guys are the best thanks for the continued love and support and if you are new to the family please do consider subscribing and turning on your notification bell in 2012 nana amwako ani that is the lady who moved from new york city to ghana with her family was working as a prosecutor in new york although british of ghanaian descent she had spent her working life in the united states studying law and entering the legal profession then one day despite the prospect of career advancement in one of the world's most prosperous cities she decided it was time for a drastic change which was when she moved to ghana it might seem like a surprising decision at earning isn't alone the west african countries allowed has proved irresistible to others in recent years who have chosen to head a call from the country's president nana akufuado two years ago ado designated 2019 as the year of return a neat slogan marketing his country as a travel destination to its diaspora scattered in europe and the united states the year of return was time to mark the 400th anniversary of the arrival of African slaves in the Americas, recognizing Ghana's significance as a transportation hub for many of these captured and transported across the Atlantic Ocean. It was seen as a success as the country welcomed an increase in investors including celebrities like Naomi Campbell and Idris Elba. That year saw an increase in tourism revenue. Beyond the 12-month campaign, some like singer Stevie Wonder have begun making plans for a permanent move. Others have already returned and stayed. For Anin, the move was made in search of a better work-life balance. I live in the U.S. for most of my life, trained as a lawyer and had every expectation of experiencing the courtrooms and business environment state side for much of my professional career she says life had other ideas with stress mounting at work the birth of her daughter triggered a reappraisal and suddenly a new life in ghana was on the cut stress redirected by plans i believe for the best she says before moving i took on the role of a prosecutor in new york the experience rocked my world bringing alone with it a lot of personal imbalances key to her decision was her discovery of yoga and subsequent training as an instructor which she says was gateway to more radical life changes so when my husband and i relocated to ghana i never knew it would open so many doors to my own healing and that of others anin says her decision to turn her back on New York and her glorious converted corner apartment in Park Slope, Brooklyn, astounded those who knew her. I had it all before I moved to Ghana. I checked off every life gold box and could easily have remained on U.S. soil. What I questioned was the long hours and the manic stress that came with my lifestyle, she said. Leaving New York when you have met it is not done willingly by most people. So our plans to move shock our family and friends. I still remember hearing you are leaving a six-figure salary to move your family overseas and start over in Africa. And from family you weren't born there, it will be hard. Annie says she and her husband planned for four years before making the move. 
we look squarely at our savings, she says, we thought intensely about shipping down our cars and what life will be like relocating with our young daughter. Expenses were a key issue on our minds at the time of our move. Ghana had one of the fastest growing economies in Africa and was also ranked one of the most expensive cities to live in. Building our own home had always been the plan. Without that, we wouldn't see the value of moving. To ultimately rent a home where a renter cost us four thousand US dollars a month. The construction of her new family home took two years. A fraught time when she and her daughter remained in New York while her husband went on ahead to supervise the build. There were a lot of Skype calls and tears of frustration. Annie says doubt did set in as to whether the, the build and move was worth it. At times I felt regret pre-move but I held on and the rewards have been endless. Annie and her family have not been alone. British Ghanaian entrepreneur and philanthropist Denta Amwateng decided to move to Ghana from the UK in 2019 after visiting back and forth over the years she is now committed to building a network in the country for returnees that is a great move the move to ghana didn't come as a shock to anyone says for years i have spent my life dedicating myself to ghana and the people in the diaspora i will always go back and forth between the uk and ghana and slowly found myself living the majority of the year in ghana it felt right my family and children love it. I felt a sense of peace in Ghana knowing my children can finally learn and speak their mother tongue too. It wasn't something that was planned. It just aligned. Despite the benefit, she says the drastic changes to her lifestyle since moving to West Africa have taken some getting used to. The adjustment wasn't easy, she says, as a developing country, everything as far as infrastructure was also developing. But she adds, Ghana has a lot to offer me and those in the diaspora as one of the more stable countries in West Africa. Ghana's economy has grown in gold cocoa and oil. Such returns go against the traditional narrative of African migration. Research conducted by the CoronaNet Research Project, a database on government responses to the coronavirus, highlighted that up to 970,714 people or 3.2 percent of the Ghanaian population immigrated in 2019. Popular destinations included Europe and America. Migration out of Ghana has occurred both legally and illegally, with many overstaying visas once they entered another country or being smuggled across borders. Despite this, there is an influx into Ghana of returning Ghanaians and black people from the diaspora. What's on offer for those who do return is a strong democracy and a healthy economy. There is also dynamic culture, particularly around food and a coastline that's inviting for both tourists and those choosing to settle. Why the pandemic, which prompted Ghana to temporarily shut its borders, has had a major impact on global travel. For some, it's been the impetus to finally make the move. Samuel Brooksworth, a former contestant on the UK's version of reality TV show, The Apprentice, sees on the tomb oil of 2020 to move from the UK to Ghana to set up a remote skills business remotely. During the pandemic, we saw graduate unemployment had increased and saw an opportunity to get started working abroad here in Ghana, says Brooksworth. He says his company now hires skilled Ghanaian graduates as remote workers for companies and individuals based around the world, providing customer support, virtual assistance, social media management, and web and app development services. The move was more than a business opportunity. Brooksworth says, I felt compelled to make an impact on the continent which required taking a major risk to move to Ghana. From several visits to Ghana, I knew that one of the areas I wanted to work on was around employment. Moving to pursue our dream was not easy. At times, there were doubts, particularly as my wife and kids also had to be considered in the process. Now, we have been able to make it work. 
and the risk has paid off with the success of remotely i am enjoying it and love the environment i am looking to be based here while i expand across the continent the shifting narrative with many in the diaspora and beyond recognizing the benefit of living in africa is something i can relate to after visiting ghana during the year of return i always knew i would come back i relocated in 2020 and have found the work and life balance i have always desired the pandemic offered a great opportunity to be closer to family and my roots after the loss of my grandfather as brothers around the world reopen it's possible that more people will be welcome home for former new york earning the move has not been without some logging and her former life i don't regret moving i have seen and experienced some of my happiest times here she said but what i do miss is the pulse of new york city i miss the 24 hours corner stores and concert in central park i have traveled back since moving and plan to continue that pilgrimage regularly but she says the proof far await the cones particularly when looking ahead to the future having adopted the life of an entrepreneur there have been many freedoms i wouldn't make in for example making my own schedule being able to work for myself and set my own hours and having more time with my family these elements seem simple but they are huge bonuses to making a new life in ghana amusingly i never experienced sunday night blues that's an amazing feeling thanks for watching those are the people who are moving from across the world and relocating back to Ghana after achieving their life in their country where they grew up. Thanks so much for watching. If you do like the video, please do consider subscribing, turning on your notification bell and sharing your own point of view in the comment section as well. Till next video, stay blessed. Love you all.